Welcome back to Knowledge is Kings, guys. I am Kings, and today we are going to be doing another simple project that you can do in less than a day. Today's product is a wall mounted key hook with a little shelf here, and it's very simple and requires very few materials. I will have all the materials listed in the description box below. So we're going to start off by cutting everything to length that we need. We're going to need four one bys cut at 19 inches, that'll make up the back one at 13 inches for the shelf, and two at five inches, so that'll make up the braces for the shelf. We're gonna go cut those at the miter saw. Now I'm actually stacking these two. These are gonna make up the braces for the shelf, and I need them to be the exact same length. This way I put one, both sides flush over here and it guarantees me they're going to be both the same length. Alright, so I got all the pieces cut here. I got the back, the shelf, and the braces. We're actually going to take the shelf and the braces and set those aside for now. And we're going to glue up the back. So to do that, I'm just going to take three of these uh, parallel clamps. Okay, so I got the clamp set out. I'm just gonna set the wood on here and push them together. And what I wanna look for, if there's any big gaps, so if I have them pushed together tight, now this is over exaggeration here, but they're like a big gap like this, I wanna try to move the wood around until the gaps look pretty good. Now, you can take this to a joiner or to a table saw and get them perfect, but this is such a small project, I don't think that's really necessary. Um, <coughs> Okay, so I got to push together, and I can kind of see here that there is a gap, um, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that or not, so I'm just going to maneuver the boards around, and I see there's a ding out of this corner, so I'll flip this upside down so I don't see that. Uh, I'll push this together, this one over. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now that I push them all together, and if I can just lightly push them by hand, and there's no gaps anywhere, we're good. Now the clamps are very strong. I could squeeze larger gaps together with the clamp if there are big ones, but that's not a good idea, and that'll make a joint that'll end up failing. Um, but if you push them together by hand and then there's no gaps, you're good to go. All right, so now we're gonna glue them up. And I'm just gonna tip up three of them, glue these sides, and then put them back down. Now, when gluing these, you do want to make sure that you get glue over the whole thing. So don't just put it on here like this and then slap it down. You want to put it on there and then spread it. Spread a thin layer to the whole edge of it. Okay, I got the glue spread, so now I'm just going to tip them down and clamp them up. Now when I put them on here like this, I, I want to line up their edges as best I can. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, and you can see even though I've got these edges lined up that the tops don't line up exactly, because that means I didn't cut them exactly the same size, which is okay because we'll just come back and trim those edges after it's all dried up. So now I'm just going to clamp these in. And you want to kind of do it progressively. You don't want to just tighten one all the way down tight and then go to the next one. You want to put them all in, give them a couple of twists, and then go back to the next one and then tighten it down. All right, so I got a wet rag here. I'm just going to wipe away some of this excess. All right, so now that that's all clamped up, we're just gonna set it over here to dry. Okay, so while we let the glue dry on the back, we're gonna rip down our two braces for the shelves down to two and three quarters, and we'll do that at the table saw. All right, so now that we got those two cut, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come from one corner on each one and just cut off a 45 on the miter saw. Also, we're gonna take the shelf and we're gonna come out from the back two inches on both sides and we're gonna cut 45s in there as well just to ease it over and make it look not so boxy. And we'll do that at the miter saw.
Okay, so we got the 45s cut on these. Now what we're gonna do is just stick them up next to each other. And what I'm doing is I wanna press down tight to this so that the flat part on the bottom is on the table. So I know it's square. I wanna do the same to this piece and then push it against the back so this corner runs right up with this 45, right where it ends. Drill that. I'm gonna add a screw to hold that in. Then I'm gonna do the same to the other side. And then I'm gonna drill two more holes and add two more screws. And I'm just drilling these out by eye. I'm not making any marks or anything. And I'm using a counter sinking bit here so that when I put my screw in, the head actually fits nice and flat with the top. Now this one I sucked in a little far, but it won't really matter. It'll be up higher than your eye will see anyway. I just don't want the screw sticking above the wood so that you can see it and it makes a hump. And then obviously these uh, stickers I'll take off later. Okay, so the glue should be set up now on the back, so let's go unclamp that. All right, so I got the piece taken out of the clamps, and I cross-cut this on the miter saw just to get the edges nice and flush. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna sand it down, because my edges, I got a little lip here, and just sand where all the boards come together, and just sand the whole thing smooth, okay? So I'm gonna start off with the random orbit sander with uh, 60 grit. <laughs> So I just got finished sanding uh, with a 220, and as you could probably see, I was just tipping it over the edge just a little bit, just to ease it over. And I wasn't being real cautious or perfect with trying to get a round over or anything like that. I was just trying to go for more of a random, scuffed up kind of look in the corners. You can see they're kind of clipped, it almost looks like, and they're all a little bit different. And I, so I think that's good enough. So now we're going to attach our shelf to this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these down to the bottom right so they're flush like that and then I'm just going to center it left and right okay now that I have it centered uh, I'm just going to make a mark on the top and the sides here so I know where it's going to be once it once I take it off. Because then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use, so I have that line here and here, I'm just going to use those as reference marks to drill a hole through. Alright, so I have that line here and I know that this is three quarters of an inch, so I'm going to go roughly half down from that line and just drill a hole through. Same on this side. So then, all right, so now I got this flipped over. And I'm just going to hold it up on my marks there and drill these holes. So 
So now that I got the first hole drilled here, I'm going to put a screw in it right away just because it's kind of hard to hold this all together here. Now I'm just going to drill the hole on the next side. And then I'm going to put two screws, one in each of the, the braces here, so I'm going to go through the back here, one into each of these. And again, I'm just drilling these by eye. You can just line it up right here. You don't need to mark anything when you're drilling it. Also, I wanted to give you a little bit of a pro tip with when using drills. King's Pro Tips! Always set your drill down like this when you're not using it. Okay, if it's in your hand and standing like this, it's fine. When you let go of it, it should be down. Always remember that. The reason why is you have a bit in here, especially if it's small, and you accidentally bump your drill and it hits down, it's going to snap that bit off. That's not the only reason. So I had a drill like this once, and I was so careful not to hit it. So I thought, okay, it won't be a problem. Well, I had a coworker come and bump my drill, and the tip went down into a finished countertop, and it wrecked it. So even if that even if you don't have a bit in there, you don't want to ruin your project by having a bit fall into it. So if it's down like this, it can never happen. So pro tip, always keep your drills down. Just get into the habit of whenever you're done using it, set it down. Never set it up like this, always put it down. Down yes, up no, okay? Bit of a pro tip there, don't forget it. Learn it, use it. All right, so now we're gonna continue putting these screws in. Now we're going to flip this over and we're going to start putting in our key hooks. Alright, so I got my uh, nail hooks here and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to evenly space one row of three on the top and then one row of two on the bottom. Now when you pre-drill a hole for these hooks, what you want to do is get a bit like this. So this is a self-centering bit. Basically it has this retractable collar here that when you drill in, it lets the bit out. So when I set the tip in here, it centers that bit right in the hole. So it's perfectly centered every time. Otherwise what happens is you try to, you use a regular bit, you put it in here, you drive it just a bit off center, and then when you put that screw in, it'll suck this one way or the other. So you use a self-centering bit and you avoid that. All right, so we got all those drilled in. Uh, now what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna actually take them off and put one coat of stain polyurethane over this whole thing. All right, so I got the stain all sprayed on. I let it sit for a little bit, and then I added back the hooks. Now what I want to do is add this whiteboard. Now, on the original, I had a mirror, but for this one, I think I'm going to add a whiteboard here with it has a little marker attached to it. And I want to put it on somewhere about like that. So what I'm going to do is put some instant glue right on a few spots and then stick it to it. All right.
right, and there it is. We got it around there. It didn't take long. That glue sets up really fast. Um, now, I kind of like the idea of a whiteboard on this one because you can, uh, when you're grabbing your keys, you can leave a message for somebody else. Or if you're putting your keys on there at the end of the night and you're like, oh, I got to remember in the morning to grab something, you can make a little note of it on here. So that way when you grab your keys, you'll see it. Um, great little reminder board right there, right before you head to your car. Now all that we have left to do is hang it on the wall. And to do that, I am going to flip it over and put some hooks on the back. All right, and to hang this up, I just have some uh, sawtooth hangers here that we're just gonna put on the back, and I'm actually gonna put two of them on there. And there you have it. With those installed, this thing's ready to get mounted on a wall. Now, to mount these on a wall, I prefer these little screws. They're really easy to put in and they have a, a double head. So when you put it into the wall, then the rest can just clip into here. Makes it really easy. And with this, since this is so large, it actually gives us a little tip out from the top to the bottom. Just gives you a little better viewing angle of this. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this week's project. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be back next week with another project you can do in less than one day. Oh, I like that.